Welcome to the Backstreet series, where we will learn everything that has to do with this wonderful library. Backstreet is clearly one of the most popular Pythonic backtesting engines out there, and it can handle any type of market, from equities, forex, futures, crypto to options. Although it's highly documented, for beginners, for beginners things can get messy and confusing really fast. In this master series, I will try to explain things using the uttermost simple language. So stick with me as I introduce the series. Also, please do not forget to subscribe and like my videos. Why Backtrader? Although, why did you choose Backtrader in the first place? Although there are many backtesting engines out there. Well, Backtrader is one of, is like, kind of mature, circa 2005 to 2015, basically. And it has a huge community, which means that it's easier to find support. And, moreover, it's highly customizable, which means that we can build anything on top of it. Whether if you want to build a certain web application or a live trader, basically, out of PT. Uh, in order to fully understand Backtrader, we'll have to understand backtesting itself in general. Although there are many forms of backtesting, it could be vectorized or an event-driven backtesting, we will try as much as possible to focus on the general form of trading backtests. And in order to understand how backtesting works, we'll have to understand how trading works, and we'll have to take it further from there. Whether it was a systematic algorithmic trading or a discretionary trading, the components shown, the components shown in this slide are the ones needed. We'd need a trading logic or a strategy, basically. The strategy needs thick data or basically needs data. The, the strategy will send the orders, what could be of different types, to the broker. The broker has basically several attributes as commissions, margins, trade size, and slippages. The broker will send those orders into the market, which will turn into positions, and those positions needs to be analyzed basically. So we'll need to know we need to know our profit and loss. We need to know maybe we need to know several quant several other quantitative metrics. In backtesting, we have to replicate the whole system, or at least virtually. Well, luckily, Backtrader exists, and it covers the whole system in a modular way, allowing us to modify any component we want. But how does this translate into Backtrader? At a high level, we have the same components of the general trading logic. Each one of those components can be customized to our needs. The data feed is the feed handler, the data handler, and it, ha it, has, it has several parses that allows us to import many types of data from several sources. The broker component handles everything that has to do with the trade size, margin, commission slippages, just, just, just think of it as a virtual trading broker. The strategy is, is the heart or where or the, is the, is the heart of where our trading logic lives. The indicator component contains many built-in indicators as model and models, and you can use it as a base to build your own indicators. Cerebro is the brain, or in technical terms, the organizer that handles the processes. Analyzers are what we use to analyze our trades, or at least the backtested ones. It could be such as the sharp ratio, annual returns, monthly returns, or we can use it to build our own custom anal analyzers, for example, the uh, smart sharp ratio. Observers are everything we want to see visually. Uh, they could be the trades on the price, the price chart, or it could be the rolling chart. Maybe we want to see our cumulative returns versus a benchmark, for example. Let us connect the components. So, the data is the data feed. The trading logic is the strategy and its indicator. The broker is simply the broker. And the trading data analysis is done through the analyzers. By looking at the detailed architecture, we can tell that in order to realize to realize our backtest, several steps are needed. First, we need to import Backtrader. If, and if you're familiar with Python or well familiar with Python, you know what what do I mean by importing the, the library? Instantiate the uh, the brain or cerebro, add the data, configure the backtesting conditions, which is the broker attributes, the commissions, the trade size, blah blah blah, and write the trading logic, run the strategy, and finally extract the results. With that being said, allow me to introduce the series contents that we will learn sequentially, although we might jump slightly from one section to another. Just don't worry about, just don't worry, everything will be plain, plain simple in layman terms. 
We will learn about the data fields and the different types of data that we can add to our system. How to parse the CSV data, how to add a pandas data. Uh, it could be a data from a database or it could be we want to add multiple time frames. Also we want to add, for example, we want to replay tick data or we want to add some external data other than the regular financial data price and volume. We would like to add the sentiment analysis, for example, that we've done on a certain stock or some certain econometric data. Then we will move into the indicators, where we will learn how to import different indicators and finally we, how we can build our own custom ones. Afterwards, we will learn the heart of any trading system, the strategy. We will learn how we can translate any trading logic into backtrader logic using object-oriented programming. And if you're afraid of object-oriented ob programming, just don't worry. The OOP we need in backtrader is pretty simple with nothing fancy or advanced. Brokers and sizers will come next. We will learn how we can modify the broker attributes and create our customized commission scheme. Like we know that the commissions for Forex is totally different from the stocks. We can we will build this as well. Then we will discuss the analyzers, which will we will use which which we will use after we complete some back tests and analysis over some algorithms quantitatively using the built-in analyzers and will and the customized ones that we're gonna build. Finally, we will talk about the built-in observers and build our own observers, basically, such as the benchmarks. I'm sure there will be tons of examples and different algorithm, algorithms that we, will learn, uh, that we will learn along the way So, to master back traders. So please stick around and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.